Jaden stared across the vast expanse of ice, where his friends had become little more than tiny dots in the distance. He could barely make out their laughter as they skated, blissfully unaware of the danger lurking nearby. The cold wind nipped at his face, but his mind was focused on the urgent situation at hand. A crocodile, of all things, was trapped on the frozen lake, and Jaden was the only one who had noticed. Jaden knew that if the crocodile made a move, his friends might not even notice, let alone be able to help. The distance between them felt like a chasm, and Jaden realized that whatever needed to be done, he would have to do it alone. He glanced around, searching for something that could help him break through the thick ice. His ice skates were sharp, but not nearly sharp enough to penetrate the frozen surface. The crocodile's life depended on Jaden's quick thinking, but what could he possibly do? Jaden's first thought was to signal his friends. He waved his arms wildly, shouting at the top of his lungs, hoping the sound would carry across the silent expanse of the lake. But the wind had died down, and his voice seemed to be swallowed by the cold air. No one turned around, but the search was fruitless. He rifled through the car, but there was nothing sharp or heavy enough to be of use. When he finally looked up, he saw his friends skating toward him, their faces a mix of annoyance and concern. They had finally noticed his absence and returned to find out what was going on. What's wrong, Jaden? One of them asked, clearly irritated. There's a crocodile out there, stuck in the ice. Jaden blurted out, his voice trembling with urgency. At first, his friends didn't believe him. A crocodile on a frozen lake? It sounded like a bad joke, but when they saw the seriousness in Jaden's eyes, they followed him back to the spot where the creature lay trapped. As soon as they laid eyes on it, their skepticism turned to disbelief. Holy, it really is a crocodile, one of them muttered, his voice barely above a whisper. After a moment of stunned silence, they all agreed. Something had to be done to free the crocodile. It was still alive, but time was running out. The group quickly devised a plan. Two of Jaden's friends volunteered to drive to the nearest house and borrow tools to smash through the ice. Jaden and the others stayed behind to keep an eye on the crocodile, making sure it didn't sink deeper into the frozen trap. The minutes dragged on as they waited. The sun hung low in the sky, casting long shadows across the lake, and the temperature seemed to drop even further. Jaden could see the crocodile's breath in the air, misting in the cold. It struggled weakly against the ice, its energy clearly waning. Finally, after what felt like an eternity, the two friends returned, armed with shovels and hammers. They quickly set to work, taking turns smashing at the ice with all their strength. But as Jaden had suspected, the ice was thick, thicker than they had anticipated. For what seemed like ages, their efforts barely made a dent. With every strike, the ice groaned under the pressure. But then, with one particularly hard blow, a network of cracks began to snake across the lake's surface. The cracks spread rapidly, radiating out from the spot where they were standing. Jaden and his friends exchanged worried glances, realizing that they were now in a precarious situation. To make matters worse, the crocodile, sensing its opportunity, began to thrash more violently, trying to claw its way onto the ice. But each time it moved, the ice crumbled beneath its weight, creating even more cracks. The situation was becoming increasingly dangerous for the crocodile and for Jaden and his friends. We need to get off this ice, one of Jaden's friends said urgently, eyeing the spreading cracks with fear. But Jaden couldn't leave the crocodile behind. It was still struggling, still fighting for its life. Despite the risks, Jaden knew he couldn't abandon the creature now. He turned to his friends to explain his plan, but to his dismay, most of them had already started retreating toward the shore, their fear outweighing their desire to help. Jaden sighed and tightened his grip on the shovel. He wasn't about to give up. He carefully approached the crocodile, trying to avoid the most fragile sections of ice. His plan was simple. If the crocodile could grip the shovel with its front legs, he would try to pull it out of the water. It was risky, but it was the only option he had. 
The crocodile, however, had other ideas. As soon as Jaden got close enough, it lashed out, its powerful tail sending a spray of ice shards into the air. Jaden barely managed to avoid the creature's jaws as he thrust the shovel toward it. His friends, watching from a distance, shouted for him to run, but Jaden was determined. He gritted his teeth and held his ground. After a tense struggle, the crocodile finally managed to grip the shovel with its legs. Jaden pulled with all his strength, using every ounce of energy he had left. Slowly, inch by inch, the crocodile's massive body began to emerge from the icy water. But just as Jaden thought he was making progress, the ice beneath him cracked with a deafening roar. Jaden felt the world tilt beneath him as the ice gave way. The next thing he knew, he was plunging into the freezing water. The shock of the cold hit him like a punch to the gut, stealing his breath away. He instinctively tried to claw his way back up, but the edges of the ice were too slippery, too fragile to hold his weight. Panic set in as he realized he was trapped. Through the fog of fear and cold, Jaden saw the crocodile struggling on the ice, free at last. But there was no triumph in the moment, only a cruel twist of fate. Jaden and the crocodile had switched places, and now he was the one fighting for his life. Just as Jaden felt himself starting to slip into unconsciousness, he felt a strong hand grab the back of his collar. It was Nick, one of his friends who had come back to help. With all his might, Nick hauled Jaden out of the water and onto the ice. Jaden gasped for air, his body trembling uncontrollably from the cold. Despite everything, Jaden wasn't ready to leave. Ignoring the shouts from his friends, he grabbed the shuffle once more and charged toward the crocodile, which was now trying to make its way across the lake. The sight of Jaden coming at it with the shovel sent the creature scurrying to the far side of the lake, where it finally found solid ground. Jaden stood there, panting and drenched, watching the crocodile disappear into the distance. He waved the shovel in the air in a gesture of victory, and his friends, though shaken, cheered from the shore. The crocodile was safe and Jaden had managed to help, even if it had nearly cost him his life. Jaden had fallen through the ice again, but this time, it wasn't an accident. He had seen something under the water earlier, something that had caught his eye just before Nick had pulled him out. Despite the obvious risks, Jaden was determined to retrieve it. His friends yelled at him, calling him reckless and stupid, but Jaden wasn't listening. He reached under the icy water, his fingers searching for the object he had spotted. It took what felt like an eternity, but eventually, he found it, a small, solid shape lodged in the mud at the bottom of the lake. Just as his lungs felt like they would burst, Jaden resurfaced, clutching the object in his frozen hand. Nick was there again, pulling him out of the water and dragging him back to shore. This time, they didn't hesitate. They ran as fast as they could, the ice cracking ominously beneath their feet until they reached solid ground. Once they were safely back at the car, Jaden's friends bombarded him with questions. What had he been thinking? Why would he jump back into the freezing water after everything they had just gone through? But Jaden was too exhausted to explain. All he could think about was getting home and warming up. The ride home was filled with a mix of relief and frustration. Jaden's friends were angry at him for taking such risks, but they were also glad that everyone had made it out alive. They swore to each other that they would never do anything so dangerous again. Back at home, Jaden peeled off his damp clothes and stepped into a hot shower, letting the warmth seep into his bones. As he stood under the steaming water, his mind kept drifting back to the events of the day, the crocodile, the ice, and the mysterious object he had retrieved from the lake. After the shower, Jaden sat down on his bed and reached into the pocket of his jacket. He pulled out the object, now dry but still cold to the touch. It was a coin old and weathered, but unmistakably made of gold. Jaden's heart skipped a beat. Could it be worth something? A few days later, Jaden took the coin to a local appraiser who confirmed his suspicions. The coin was rare, dating back several centuries, and was worth over $2,000. Jaden couldn't believe his luck. He had risked his life for this, and now it was going to pay off in a big way. 
but Jaden wasn't interested in keeping all the money for himself. The encounter with the crocodile had left a deep impression on him, and he felt a sense of responsibility for the creature that had inadvertently led him to the treasure. He decided to donate a portion of the money to a crocodile sanctuary, ensuring that other animals in need could be helped. In the end, Jaden's wild adventure on the ice had brought him more than just a rare coin. It had taught him the value of courage, the importance of helping others, even when they're as unlikely as a crocodile, and the rewards that can come from doing the right thing. His friends might have thought he was crazy at the time, but in the end, they all agreed that Jaden had a heart of gold, just like the coin he had found.